back to Goodbye Grains. Today we are making peach barbecue sauce. Uh, now this is the perfect recipe to make as peach season is kind of beginning to come to a close and those peaches are very, very ripe and are perfect for this recipe. Uh, now I always make this uh, towards the end and then you can freeze some of it. You can make a giant batch. Uh, I'm just going to make probably an average size batch, but you can definitely double it and then freeze some of it uh, and then you can use it kind of all season long um, in the fall and into the winter. So for your ingredients, you definitely have some very ripe peaches. I actually have three ripe peaches. Um, now we're actually going to take the skin off of these and then chop them up. Uh, so the best thing actually what you can do is um, you can use peaches that are maybe not perfect peaches. I know you can go to farmer's markets and you can kind of get like the I don't know what the, what the name of it is, but it's basically like they're um, bruised peaches, you know, ones that maybe aren't um, the greatest to eat because maybe they have like a bruised spot or something like that. That's the perfect type of peach to use for this recipe. Usually you can get them cheaper at a discounted rate at farmer's market and then you're not going to be able to tell the difference because once all the ingredients are together and we've cooked it, we're going to pop it into either a food processor or you can use an immersion blender and kind of blend everything together. So that is a good way to use those types of peaches. We have some, this is some tomato sauce, we have three cups of that. So those are the two base ingredients for this. Um, and then the supplemental ingredients, we have some coconut oil. This is what we're going to cook our garlic and our onion in. So we're just going to use half of this red onion and then a couple of large cloves of garlic. Um, we have some kosher salt and a touch of cinnamon. Uh, we're going to be using some fresh grated ginger, which I have to go grab. Um, just a little bit of mustard, a splash or two of some apple cider vinegar. And then to give it a little heat, we're going to be using some cayenne pepper. You can definitely use a fresh pepper um, if you want to. If you want this to be more just a straight peach barbecue sauce that's on the sweeter side, you don't want that spicy kick, you can definitely leave the cayenne out. So let's grab our stove. Okay, so I have a, a pretty large saucepan with about a tablespoon of coconut oil uh, in it that's heating over about medium to medium high heat. And then we have, these are our peaches. Now I peeled them and then I kind of just chopped them up uh, pretty coarsely. And we are first going to cook the peaches down. Um, you kind of want to watch over this. You don't want to walk away. Um, the main reason we are going to do this is to kind of start bringing out the natural sugars of the peaches. So we can carefully add all of these in. And kind of just stir it around. And now we're going to allow the peaches to cook for about three to five minutes or so. Kind of every minute um, or 90 seconds, just kind of stir everything around and make sure that it's not burning on the bottom. If it really starts to cook pretty quickly, you can turn your heat down to closer to medium or medium low and that'll cook the peaches a little bit slower. But for right now, we will just kind of stir this every minute or so, and then we'll be back after three to five minutes. Okay, so it's been about three minutes, and I don't know if you can see this, but it's definitely the juices are kind of coming out and you're starting to get a little bit of the sugar caramelizing on the bottom. So we can kind of just give this one more quick stir. And then we are going to add in some ground cinnamon And then we can also add in the first part of our salt. And then we're also going to add in, this is some um, fresh ginger right here that I grated. So we can kind of just add that in. And then stir this around. You want the cinnamon to kind of hit the, uh, the heat of the pan. You can kind of just keep stirring this for another 30 seconds or so. And then we are going to remove the peaches um, back into the bowl that they came in. Um, and the reason we're going to do that is because we want to start cooking the uh, red onion and the garlic separately. So we can remove the peaches back into the bowl. And we're going to add another tablespoon or so of coconut oil back into the pan. And this won't take very long to heat up at all. 
then we're going to add in, this is some red onion. And we're going to allow this to cook for a couple minutes and then we'll add in our garlic. So the onions you don't need to keep quite as uh, close of an eye on as you did the peaches just because obviously red onion doesn't have nearly as much sugar in it as um, very ripe peaches do. But you can just kind of let this cook for, I don't know, two or three minutes, come back, stir it, and then cook it for another two or three minutes. All in, you probably want to cook the onions for about six minutes, then we'll add our garlic, cook it for a couple more minutes, and then we can add the peaches back in. Okay, so it's been about five or six minutes. I added about a tablespoon of water into the bottom of the pan just to make sure that these onions uh, weren't going to burn. Uh, so we can add in our garlic and just kind of stir this around for a minute or so. You want to make sure that the garlic doesn't taste raw. Um, we are going to simmer this entire barbecue sauce though for about 15 or 20 minutes uh, once all the ingredients are in just to kind of allow everything to come together uh, before we put it into the food processor. Okay, so now we can add in some of our cayenne pepper. Now you can add as much or as little of this as you want. I'm just going to do... I don't know, not even half of a teaspoon. I don't want this to be super spicy. We can add in some more of our kosher salt. And then add in our mustard. You only want to do about a tablespoon of mustard. And then we're just going to add in a splash or two of apple cider vinegar, and this is actually going to help us to deglaze the bottom. And then you can kind of just carefully move all of that around so that it'll combine. And then that's why I love wooden spoons so much. You can kind of use the uh, spoon to kind of scrape everything up off the bottom. All that really good flavor from when we were cooking both the peaches and the onions. So now we can add our peaches back in. And stir that all together. And then now we're going to add our tomato sauce. And you want to be really, really careful when you add this so that it doesn't splash up at you. What I normally do, I don't know if you can see this, I'll pour it into the spoon and then this way it doesn't splash as bad. You're going to add all of that in. And then give it another stir. So that everything comes together. And then you're gonna lower the heat down to a simmer and you're going to allow this to cook for about 15 or 20 minutes uh, with a lid that just is kind of slightly off. You don't want the lid to be completely on it because you do wanna let some of the steam out and let this thicken a little bit, but you also don't want it so thick that it's more of like a jam than a sauce. So we'll turn this down and grab our lid and be back in 20 minutes. All right, so I allowed my uh, peach barbecue sauce to kind of just simmer on the stove for about 20 minutes uh, with the lid just slightly covering it. I took it off the stove and I've been just kind of letting it sit here for a few minutes to begin to cool down a little bit. You don't want to put it scorching hot into the food processor. Now, if you want, you can certainly leave it chunky like this where you have chunks of peaches. Um, I personally like it to be a little bit of a smoother consistency and have the peach more, of thro more throughout the sauce. So I'm going to put it into a food processor. You can definitely use an immersion blender or a regular blender as well. Um, I'm only going to put like a small amount um, per batch into here, whip it up, and then this is how I store it. I either use a mason jar that's about this size, or you can also use small ones that are like this size, especially if you want to give this as kind of like a, I don't know, housewarming gift or a, you know, holiday gift or something like that. You probably, I mean, well, I guess I should say it depends where you live. 
Um, where I live, peaches are not in season around um, Thanksgiving or Christmas. But if you live somewhere where you can get, um, you know, local peaches uh, that are nice and ripe, um, definitely you can make this around the holidays. But uh, you can store it in something like this. You can also obviously store it in a, you know, plastic container or just a regular Tupperware container and then either pop it into the fridge or into the freezer. So now that this has cooled down a little bit, we're gonna add some of it right into our food processor and you wanna be really careful again that this doesn't splash everywhere. Um, so kinda of using the same technique as I did before. Uh, you only wanna fill up, especially since this is hot, you only wanna fill up the food processor about a third or so of the way. Um, and then you can just pop the lid on and you're just going to, you can either pulse it or you can just turn it straight on. I usually pulse it um, until I get the right consistency that I want. Okay, so I did about, I don't know, 12 or 15 pulses. I can kind of show you the texture of this. It's still nice and thick. You still get some small, um, almost like diced chunks of the peach. Um, but the onion is uh, broken down a lot more and then you're also not getting chunks of garlic. So this is about the consistency that I like. Um, you can certainly make it, you know, a lot thinner and just kind of leave it on and let it run for a couple minutes. Or you can, um, you know, leave it as thick as this is. So I'm going to pour this into one of my containers and finish up with the rest of the sauce. So I hope you've enjoyed this peach barbecue sauce. Uh, it would taste great on pretty much anything, pork loin, pulled pork, chicken. Uh, you could probably put this on a flip-flop and it would taste good. So definitely give this a shot. Uh, also, I've been kind of testing out some new lighting and some new um, kind of sound stuff. So definitely leave any comments below with kind of how everything is sounding and looking um, uh, so you can give me some feedback. Also. Very quickly, I will be approaching one year of making recipe videos, which is crazy to think. Uh, and so I'd like to do something kind of fun and exciting right around my one year anniversary, I guess, of, of making cooking videos. So if you guys have any ideas or any comments, um, put those down below as well. So I will see you guys next week and have a great weekend. Bye.